The association between Sala and the Springbok Supporters Club saw legends joining in the annual Cape Town edition of the club's golf day, held at the picturesque Dizalza Country Club in Stellenbosch. Yeah, this is our second year in association with the uh, Springbok Supporters Club Golf Day and uh, as one of the sponsors of the, the club, I think it's a fantastic opportunity you know, with a, a brand like Dunlop celebrating our 125 years this year of heritage um, to be associated with a, a brand like uh, the Supporters Club and the Springboks in general, absolutely must. We really enjoyed the entertainment and it was good to see not only the present South African rugby players or the Springboks, but we also saw the ex-South Africans who are in the, involved in this whole week. It's bigger and better in terms of what I've seen has actually come out of the, the turnout. Um, you know, this year there, there wasn't a four ball that didn't have a rugby legend you know, not playing in it. <laughs> For us to be part of this whole thing was fantastic. Uh, to rub shoulders as Jock said with the legends was great. We're not great golfers but it was a wonderful day and hopefully the evening will be just as great. In Gauteng, the legends also joined in a rugby clinic, hosted by the club at Deep Sluit. Some familiar SA rugby greats were on hand to pass on their vast rugby skills and knowledge. This is our second year running in Deep Sluit. You know, the kids seem to be enjoying the program. Uh, they're playing a full league now, each school playing eight fixtures. We're playing against, we've just concluded our league. So the program is growing very nicely. You know, we're not only trying to create the next Springbok, but we're also trying to create the better man for South Africa. And rugby helps with that discipline aspect to shape these boys for the future. You know, Toko sounds a big fan of sports and we're a big fan of the sponsoring of the sports. So at a professional level, we're there already. So who's going to be our professionals tomorrow? Hopefully these little guys, you know. So it, we've got to create that pipeline and, and we're very excited about that in terms of not just being at the, at the professional level, but also putting our money where our mouth is and supporting it from a youngster level, from a development level, and not always in the traditional spaces where you would find it. You've got to go out and look for new places to find your talent for tomorrow and already talent is being discovered, it's going to have to be nurtured, but if you don't have mass participation programs like this, where are your spring bucks of tomorrow? So, you know, we want to create the spring bucks of tomorrow. So they, these kind of clinics, development programs are critical for us. If I think about the young boys, they, they haven't touched a rugby ball before. Their enthusiasm is just marvellous, and yeah, it's my first time that I'm with Ian Nack and them. On the, on the course like this, so I'm looking forward to, to helping the youngsters. There's a lot of basics outstanding in the country as a general and I think um, we as coaches need to get out and, and pay attention to basics again, just passing the ball, catching, running into space um, and I think the competition at school levels sometimes make it difficult for guys who always want to compete and not pay attention to, to basic skills. Yeah, we're quite uh, keen to get involved in the communities and from Dunlop side, you know, being part of the Springbok Supporters uh, Club, it's quite an honour being with the guys, being busy with them, helping them out and seeing the faces of these children when you're busy with us. You know, it's quite an honour and brings a bit of warmth to the heart. Alright, once again, it's been fantastic working with these youngsters. A lot of them are sort of new to the game and the biggest thing at this age is to, if you see when they get a ball, they stop when they get the ball. The biggest thing that we've been working on is get them to run with the ball and then to pass it and support it. And then obviously draw a man pass or beat the man. And from there, we lead into tag rugby is one of the biggest crutches in, in, our, in our game. So guys, say tell her, everybody together, say yes. Yeah!